okay uh welcome to today's lecture today's lecture is about algebra objectives so for today i'm going to solve some examination questions specifically for paper two so i'm going to solve about three questions one for 2016 internal and then for 2017 i'm going to solve internal and external and then for 2018 internal and external of your task so before i start just ensure that you subscribe to this channel so that whatever i'm going to be posting you'll be updated or notified so let's start okay so uh we have in this question that came in 2016 october exams the first question is saying simplify x minus one over x to the power two minus one so how can you simplify that one so uh you're having x minus one like that over x to the power two minus one like that so here the top part x minus 1 you cannot subtract a letter and a number so that one you can just maintain it like that but you can deal with the down part you can factorize this down part x to the power 2 minus 1 so you can factorize this by difference of two squares so for it to be x to the power 2 x to the power 2 which means they multiplied x times x so you're having 2x there and then this one you're seeing which now which two numbers can you multiply to give you one it's one times one so for the first part i'm going to get this one and this x and then so uh, i'm going to get x minus one like that since it's x to the power two there is that other x which which is many and then i'm going to get that x and then i'm going to get that one like that and then this time around i'm going to change the sign since i use the negative i'm going to use the positive like that and then once I'm having this, which means I factorize this down part, this one. I factorize it to be like this. And if you want to prove, you can say x times x is giving you x to the power 2, the one you're seeing there. And then negative times positive, that's negative you're seeing in between there. 1 times 1, that's one you're seeing there. So you can even prove like that. And then you can need to compare the top part and the down part. So uh, here you're having x minus 1, even down you're having x minus 1. So you can x minus 1 into x minus 1, that's 1. So this one is common you can cancel it and then x minus one into x minus one that's one like that so therefore your final answer will be like this will be one over x plus one like that then you're done as simple as that so now let's do for b so b is saying 17 k squared over 20 a squared like that divided by 51 k squared over 5a so the question is saying simplify this how can you simplify this so the first thing this first part you are seeing here does not change you just have to maintain it like that but this division sign will change into multiplication and once this division sign changes into multiplication this denominator will become the numerator and then the numerator will become the denominator. So let me show you what I'm, I'm saying there. So uh, we have in 17, you maintain this squared like that over 20a squared like that. And then this division will change into multiplication. Once this division changes into multiplication, this numerator, uh, this denominator you're seeing down here, 5a, will become the numerator. And the numerator will become the denominator. So we're going to have 5a on top over fifth one k squared like that after doing this you need to expand now so how do you expand you have in 17 so k squared so the same as k times k then you have expanded that and then you are going to have 20 times a times a like that times and then you're going to have five times a like that and then down you're going to have 51 times k times k like that then here you need to cancel you need to cancel uh, the common letters so you're having k there and k down there this k and that k goes and then you're having this a goes with that a and then now let's try to uh, you know that uh, 5 can go into 20 so 5 into 5 that's 1 and then 5 into 20 that's 4 and then this 17 you're seeing here can go into 51 so 17 to 17 that's 1 17 to 51 that's 3 
so on top there you have cancelled everything you have cancelled everything so same as one times one one times one times one times one that's same as one like that over down here what are you mean with you mean with four a and three so what is three times four that's twelve but you have that a times a so four times three that's twelve times a that's twelve a like that so this is my final answer so that's how you are supposed to do it and then let's solve the last question for c so let me lab here so that so that you can create space here okay um uh, now let me solve for c so uh c is saying express this as a single fraction in its lowest what tens so we are having 2 over 2x minus 1 minus 1 over 3x plus 1 so here what do you do you need to draw a line like that and then you need to find uh, a common denominator in which 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 1 can go without leaving a remainder. So here, when you're having such type of equation, you just have to drop this same thing. 2x minus 1 down, then 3x plus 1 down like that. And then, and then here, what do you do? So you know that this, uh, these two will go with this, and then this one will go with that. So here, what do you do? So you're going to write 2, 3x like that plus 1 minus and then here are going to have 1 and then you're going to write 1 2x minus 1 like that and then once you're having this you can multiply now what is 2 uh, you multiply 2 times everything in the bracket so you're going to have uh, 2 times uh, 3x, so you're going to have 6x like that, plus 2 times uh, 1, that's 2, then minus, what is 1 times 2x, so that's uh, negative 2x like that, and then here, you need to pay attention here, because that's why I didn't make mistakes, so this negative 1 times negative 1, so it will become positive 1, so don't make a mistake there on the sign. I've noticed that's where most of the students make mistakes. So we're going to have two x, and then you just have to maintain these uh, denominators. So you're going to have uh, three x plus one like that. And then here, what do you do? You need to. You can even let me write it somewhere here. So here you need to, uh, you need to group the like terms here. So uh, this. We'll go there close to that one because it's having x in it and then this will move this side so here you're going to have 6x and then that's two x, negative 2x will move with its sign like that and then you're going to have positive 2 plus 1 like that over you're going to have 2x minus 1 like that and then you're going to have 3x plus 1 like that and then here what do you do 6x minus uh, 2x that's 4 x and then uh, 2 plus 1 that's 3 over 2x minus 1 and then 3x plus 1 like that then you're done so as simple as that so I'm sure you agree on this one now let's do the other question so that you can understand clearly so we're having this question that came in 2017 October November exam the first question saying simplify this so how can you simplify that so i'm sure um you are having an idea on how to go about this one now so power three over nine y squared like that divided by seven x to the power four over eighteen y to the power three like that i said this first part just have to maintain it like that and then this division will change into multiplication once division changes into multiplication the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator the denominator so here you're going to have 14 like that x to the power three 
over 9y to the power 2 and then this division changes to multiplication like that and then when this division changes to multiplication this denominator will become the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator so i'm going to have 18 y to the power 3 on top over uh, 7 to the power x x to the power 4 like that and then here what do you do you need to expand this so here on top we're going to have 14 times x times x times x then over we're going to have 9 9 like that times y times y like that times like that and then on top you're going to have 18 times y times y times y over down there you're going to have 7 times x times x times x times x like that and then here what do you do you need to cancel what's common up and down so this y will go with that y and then this y with that y so we are doing we are with one y there and then um x that x will go with that x that x that x and then that x and that x so one or uh, down there we mean with one x and then now let's uh look for the numbers you know that this seven can go into 14 with this 14 up here seen there so seven into seven that's one seven into 14 that's two and then um this nine you are seeing here can go into 18 so uh going to have nine to nine that's one and then nine into 18 that's two like that so we're going to multiply everything that is on top so on top you remain with two and these two and that y so two times two that's four times y so you remain with four y like that over down here what are you mean with you just mean with what x like that so like that then we are done as simple as that so um now let's uh let me solve for b i'm sure there is enough space here so uh b it's saying it's saying simplify 2x to the power 2 minus 8 and over sorry over x plus 1 so we are having 2x to the power 2 minus 8 over x plus 2 so for the down part x plus 2 it's already been simplified you can't add the letter and the number so we can just deal with the top part there so how can you go about this so for the top part you can factorize it so how can you factorize this you know that these two can go into eight so you can say two outside like that and then you open the bracket like that and then you're having x squared minus what so uh you when you divide when you do this x uh two outside you say two into two then it's going to give you two into two that's one you just mean going to mean with x to the power two minus x two into eight that's four like that and then here you say over uh x plus what two but this top part it's not done yet you need to factorize this to its simplest what to its simplest what form so this x to the power two minus four it's not done so what do you do now so you can continue by factorizing you're going to say two then say open bracket you can still factorize this thing inside by difference of two squares so you know that you're having two uh, x to, for it to be x to the power two, which means you're having two x so you're going to x like that you get one x minus uh which numbers can give you uh uh four it's two times two so there you get one two like that and then you're going to get the other x minus you say plus now the other two like that and then you say over x plus what two like that then here what do you do so let me uh lab this part so that uh, you you can see whatever is happening here and then here so uh yeah uh, what's common up and down so we have seen this x plus two and x plus two so x plus two one and then x plus two one like that so you're going to have two x minus one minus two sorry over one but one into 
uh, 2x plus you just mean going to mean with 2x minus 2 like that so then that's your find what answer as simple as that so this is very simple unless there are there are there are, there are questions you let me know yeah you let me know so that i can help you out so let me solve the other part the last part so let me lab and then so that i can create some space for the last question okay uh so now let me solve for the last question so it's saying express uh this as a single fraction in its lowest what terms so you're having one over x minus four minus two over five x minus one like that so here you need to draw a line when you're given that type of equation then you need to find the common denominator in which x minus one and five x minus one can go without leaving a remainder so you say x just have to drop this same thing you're seeing there down minus one like that and then i said uh this one is in there to go with that one and then that to go with that one so what are you going to do here so uh you're going to have something like um i can say two x minus four minus one five x minus one like that and then here you can multiply now 2 with everything inside the bracket. So you're going to have, what is 2 times x? That's 2x. And then uh, 2 times negative 4, that's negative 8, like that. And then here you're going to have negative 1 times 5x, that's negative 5x. And then negative time, negative 1 times negative 1, that's going to be positive 1, like that. So here you need to pay extra attention because of the signs so and then x minus 4 like that then you're going to have 5x minus 1 like that and then here what do you do you need to correct like 10 so this will move to there and then this because 2x and negative 5 those are like 10 and then this negative 8 and positive 1 the like 10 so negative 8 will move that side so you're going to have 2x you are going to have negative 5 like that then you're going to have negative x plus 1 like that over the same uh, denominators you're having minus 4 then 5x minus 1 like that and then here what are you going to have so here you're going to have uh, 2x minus 5 you're going to have negative 3x like that and then negative uh, 8 plus uh, 1 that's negative 7 over x minus 4 5x minus 1 like that then you are done as simple as that so let me solve the last question so that you can understand clearly so here now you are having this uh, question he's saying uh, this question came in 2017 July August what exams so he's saying simplify this so how can you simplify that so you are having m squared minus 1 over m squared minus m like that so how can you uh, how can you how can you work out this problem so here uh, you can factorize this top part by difference of two squares as i said for it to be m squared which means you are having uh, which means they multiplied m times what m and then this one you are seeing here how can you have one like that you need to multiply one times what one so you have into one there and then um, the down part also it can be factorized so you're going to factorize it so let's start with the top part first so let's start with the top part first let's deal with the top part first so here uh, what we are going to do is um, we're going to write m like that we get 1m minus 1 and then the other m now this side you say plus what 1 then even if we say m times m we're going to have m squared like that negative times positive we're going to have a negative there and then 1 times 1 
like that so it's, okay, you can still take it to that so which means yeah, this is correct and then down here how can you factorize this down part you know that you're having m both sides so you can get m like that and then you open the bracket and then you start dividing m into uh when you divide m into m squared you're going to mean with one m minus m into m that's one you divide m into m so that's one so and then you can compare uh what's common up and down so you have seen that this is common there one yeah one like that therefore we're going to remain with m plus one there and then down here we're just going to mean with what m then you're done for the first part so uh because of space let me lab so that uh, i create some space for b because b it will require it will require enough space for solving so uh these things are very simple so uh b is saying simplify this and then so how can you simplify this we have in p squared q like that over four times eight over p q like that divided by two p squared q like that so how can you uh go about this question so the same thing so i can maintain this first part and then this division will change into multiplication one changes to multiplication you know what to happen so here the first thing if i want i can say since these other things are having my overs they're having over so you can say over one mm -hmm. and then here you can say p squared like that q like that over four times eight over p q so this multiplication division sign so it will change into multiplication so it will be like that one change into multiplication uh this one will go up and then that one will come down like that so the denominator becomes the numerator and the numerator becomes the denominator so then you're going to have two like that like that and then here what do you do you need to expand so here you're going to have uh, p times p times q times q times q three q's like that over four times on top we're going to have eight over p times q times we're going to have one over two times p times p times q like that then we need to cancel what's common up and down so here we're, going, we're having two q's two p sorry we can cancel and then that q can go with that q i'm seeing there and then this q can go with that q like that so on top we'll remain with one q and then down we'll remain with one p and then um this four can go into eight so uh four into four that's one four uh, and then uh, four into eight that's two so on top we are having q two and one so what is one times two that's two two times q so on top you're going to have two q like that and then down here what are we remaining with but before we do that sorry uh these two can also go with that two so uh the numbers uh the the the, the two has disappeared has gone now so that two has gone I'm sure you have seen what has happened there. So on top, we're just meaning with Q. The two has gone with that other one. I didn't say it, sorry. And then down, we're just meaning with what? P. So on top, just we're meaning with 1 and Q. So 1 times Q, that's Q. And then down here, everything has been cancelled. We just mean with what? P. So uh, 1 times P. So we just want to mean with P like that. So as simple as that thing, you are done. So uh, let's solve for the last part, the last question, C, so that you can understand clearly. And then the other last two questions for 2018 internal and external, that will be your task. And then you can submit so that I see what you're going to do. Because you need to expect this type of questions in a new exam. 
so there is nothing hard here you just have to pay extra attention to whatever i'm doing here so uh for c saying explain this as a single fraction it's lowest term so you're having three over five x minus two minus two over x plus three like that over so here you need to find a common denominator you need five x minus two and three and x plus three can go without leaving a minus so here you can just do this same um, thing you're having down there so x plus three like that and then i said this will go with that and then that will go with that so you're going to have three like that going with x plus three like that minus then you're going to have two five x minus two like that then here what do you do you need to multiply three with everything in the bracket so three times x that's three x and then three times three that's nine minus two times uh, negative two times uh five x so that's ten x and then negative times negative that's positive two times so that's four don't uh forget about the sign there then here you need just to maintain five x minus two and then x plus three like that and then here like them so you know that this will move to the three x uh ten negative ten x will move to three x and then this positive nine will move to four like that because those are like terms so after moving to look like this so we're going to have three x negative ten x like that and then you're going to have positive nine and positive four like that over we're going to have five x minus two and x plus three like that and then down here when you subtract three x minus ten you're going to have negative seven x then nine plus four that's thirteen over write five x minus two and then x plus three like that then you are done as simple as that i'm sure it's clear so uh this is your task you solve for 2018 july august exam this question that came in 2018 for july august exam and then there is this other one that came in october and it's a 2018 question as well so you are and i'm sure you are clear about this thing and whenever you are having questions you need to ensure that you contact me and i'll be able to attend to your questions and then lastly don't forget to subscribe like share and what comment and thank you for watching